Hello all. So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P1157 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Honda P1157 code? Well, it's an air fuel ratio sensor, sensor one, AFS line high voltage or air fuel ratio sensor. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses different sensors to get the air fuel ratio right inside the engine for the combustion. And it's seen a problem with one of these sensors. And so it had to be troubleshooted to know why. And with this code, the main sensor that it's seen an issue with will be the upstream oxygen sensor. This is located on the exhaust and it'll be located before the catalytic converter. The exhaust will have two oxygen sensors. It'll have one after the catalytic converter called the downstream and it'll have one before the catalytic converter called the upstream. And this is the sensor that the code's pointing to. So the first thing to do would be to look, go find the upstream oxygen sensor on your particular Honda, on your engine sensor. There can't be some minor differences and check it out. And sometimes they can be located right, sometimes they can be located easily. Sometimes like this, they'll be located right on the exhaust manifold. And sometimes they can be farther down, but it'll be before the catalytic converter. So that's the one to look at is the upstream oxygen sensor. And be sure to check out the wiring. Be sure to check out this wiring harness. Because a bad wiring connection or an open or a short can cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So you're going to want to check out the wiring and be sure that that all looks good. And be sure that there's no issues with it. You could get out a meter and check for an open or a short or something like this. Most people would just go ahead and replace the sensor. And then if that doesn't work, then they come back and check out the wiring. Since the sensor is a low-cost part, I'll go ahead and jump over on Amazon give you an idea how much they cost for Hondas. They're rated at around $40. There's one for $79. $50. They're not hugely expensive parts and most people would just go ahead and swap it out but they can't be tested before you swap them out if you wanted to. You could test them or and test the wiring before you swap it out. However you want to do it. Just be aware that wiring can cause issues if there's an open or a short or a bad connection. And replacing an oxygen sensor is usually an easy task. There's special tools that you could get to remove this if you don't want to cut the wire or if you don't want to use an open end wrench for some reason you could get a special tool. Many people when they go to remove these they'll cut the wire, they'll, they'll put a socket on this on the old one, they'll remove it and they'll use an open-end wrench when they put the new one in. But there is special sockets that you can get. they got an opening on one side for this wire. So when you go to order an oxygen sensor, if you want that, then be sure to get that socket too. But not everybody uses it, so it just depends on how comfortable you feel using an open-end wrench to put the new one back in. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Honda with a P1157 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.